So, I went shopping today. I bought some makeup stuff. This is actually airborne because I've been sick the past like week. Literally, I'm on spring break currently. And I have my, and I had my period this week, TMI. <laughs> and I got sick, so I've been dealing with all that. So, I'm drinking airborne because it's gonna kill everything that's in me. It was bad, and also I had some beer just now because it's St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day! So yeah, I made this sign at work, and um, I love it. I hope you guys like it. I want to hang it up on this wall, but I don't have a nail or a hook, so yeah. So yeah, I'm going to do a, like a mini haul, and then I'm going to do like a first impressions of some makeup products. So well, let's get into it. Um, so basically, I got a e.l.f. matte lip color in praline. I bought the T-Rose one, like, recently, and I like it overall. And, um, oh yeah, I might start calling this kind of segment, like, Sarah's Corner or whatever. Sarah's Corner Chats or something like that. Sarah's Corner, whatever. So yeah, basically. But yeah, um... Yeah, this is, I got my mirror right here, so, yep, yeah, I'm going to try this on. I don't really love the e.l.f. packaging, it's kind of like, eh, but, ew, it's pretty, it's like a brownish kind of color, it's pretty, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. So, yeah. It's not bad. I got a Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Um, I had like a sponge dupe from my Target, but it got really gross. And I just actually learned recently, this is kind of sad, but I just actually learned recently that you're supposed to wet these things when you use them. So I did not know that. And I never really, I, I try to wet my, the one that I had like once, but whatever. Eh, how do you open this? Okay. Open. Okay. I was gonna buy the set of two. I was gonna buy the set of two, but um, I saw this and I was like, you know what? I only need one for now, and I want to try it out. And it is pretty. I like how it feels. I need to wet this. I did not wet this. I might have to leave and wet this during the video, so I hope you guys are okay with that. I probably should have done that before, but I wanted to do like a first impression unboxing kind of thing, so there's that goodness. And then I got two foundations to try out, and I've watched a lot of videos on one of these foundations, and my I actually, my boss did her makeup during um, work yesterday because she has a second job, where she likes to wear makeup to it because she's like on a stage during that job. And so she did her makeup and one of these foundations was the one that she used and I kind of like asked her like about it because she was using it and she said it was really good for dry skin, which I have dry skin. So, voila! The Wet n Wild Photo Focus, which I've been told it's not good for dry skin, but we're gonna try it out because I mean, it was only $5 at Walmart. I got the shade Soft Ivory, so Hopefully it will be good, but I like the packaging. I like that it's glass and stuff. It's really nice. And I got the Rimmel, the Rimmel London Clean Finish Foundation, True Ivory. So I'm gonna do one on one side of my face and the other on the other side. But of course, like I said, once I wet my beauty blender, I will do that. What else did I get? And I got some spoons for work. I mean, for work for home. So obviously those, those aren't the makeup products. So yeah, I got these things. Pretty cool. I'm gonna go wet this sponge really quick so I can start the foundation. Okay, so I just wet this. It got bigger. That's pretty cool. So, okay. What I'm going to do is put this down somewhere. I don't want it to get all messy. Put it here, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. Ew, it does have a spatula. And it is definitely like liquidy, but 
I'm excited to try this out. I really hope that one, it's not super bad for like my skin tone. I'm also hoping that it, oh, why did I just do that? difficulties right now. Sorry guys. That's not what I wanted to do. That was not the plan. I forgot. I wasn't thinking. It's one of those days I guess. Okay. So that's not what my plan was. My plan, like I said, is to put this on half of my face. <laughs> oh man, I should probably get my hat off. That would probably be a smart thing to do. I just washed my hair so excuse the dark my face so hard. <laughs> and this is also spatula. It's this is also spatula, but it's like bigger. Interesting. That's another reason why I wanted to do first impressions of both these because they're both spatula foundations. So I thought that'd be kind of cool to do. I don't know which color is gonna be better. It might be the rimmel. I'm not sure. Let's see what we got. I need to take my glasses off. I kind of wish I wasn't the kind of person to wear glasses, but what can you do? Ooh, I like this. I might need to put more on. I'm going to totally forget what this is wet and wild. I don't forget. Ooh, I like this sponge. It's nice. I see what people... I like, like my face doesn't feel like it's dry right now, which is nice. Why did I close this? It's hard to do this when you only have like, okay. So far it doesn't feel dry, which is nice. Because it's all wet and stuff, it's sponges wet, which is like a lot. I'm not like a crazy person when it comes to coverage, like I don't really mind like if I don't have crazy coverage. I feel like it looks like it's like natural looking, which is nice. I've heard that about this foundation too. Okay, let's go to, to the other side, the rim, the, to the rimmel side, I mean. Rimmel feels very like thick feeling. But to be honest, neither of these were like over five dollars, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm really not gonna complain. But yeah, now I understand why people wear why people use sponges because legit like it makes it look a lot better and it doesn't feel like it's dry or anything. And it blends in really well, which is nice. Like, I've never used a makeup sponge like this before. And it feels pretty nice, actually. I like it. Gotta make sure it's like... And I feel like both actually look like they're pretty good color-wise for the both for me, you know? cakey on me. To be honest, they both look really cakey on me. I don't know. Maybe 
need to put too much on or something. They both fold tacky. I probably put too much on them, I'm guessing, but color wise, they're pretty good though, actually. But yeah, they're both very, very kinky looking. I don't know if I put too much or something, but but the sponge is really nice. I like the sponge a lot. I know which one I like more though. Um, to be honest, but this praline is pretty nice. I bought a dress for my 11 Stranger Things cosplay, which I'm planning to film for you guys. Like, how I'm like my costume and everything, and hopefully, if we go to, if we go to Comic Con, I'll film like um, the Comic Con 2 2 2 2. Far away, like, I don't, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing foundation, which is nice. Like, it doesn't really feel like anything per se, really. It just feels like. I guess it feels more like I'm wearing foundation on this side, the rimmel side, but it's not bad though. Like, but I didn't put primer underneath or any, I didn't moisturize my skin or anything, so that might be also the problem. But. I don't really know which one I like more, to be honest. I feel like, what do you guys think? I mean, I can't really tell like if either of them look better or worse, really. I mean, they both look kind of cakey and kind of like, I feel like the wet one might look more cakey and dry though. that this the rimmel is supposed to be for dry skin but I feel like it looks kind of dry on my skin I don't really know what do you guys think let me know um, I've heard the wet and wild isn't super long lasting I mean well it's pretty long lasting I've heard I, I haven't really heard that much about the rimmel one though I'm I honestly only bought this because my boss uses it and it looked pretty good on her and also because it's like four dollars or under four dollars so it's really really cheap and I do like that it's you know I'm glad that I picked colors that don't look bad on my skin like I feel like color wise they both look pretty good which is nice like because I mean I tried not to pick colors that were bad on my skin and it's really hard to like pick like both of these different foundations both have like four different ivory colors like both of them so it's really hard to know which one you should pick when there's like four different ivories like if there was just like porcelain ivory beige then obviously i would pick like porcelain or ivory but it's like soft ivory nude ivory true ivory it's like really <laughs> it's hard to pick but i think i did a pretty good job though actually of picking Two colors that look pretty good on my skin. So color wise, I'm happy. Um, neither of them really feel heavy, which is good. But I feel like they both look very dry on my skin. Like very dry. Like if you look up close. But I, like I said, I didn't put primer on, I didn't moisturize my skin. And um so I think if I would have done those things, and I probably put way too much also on my skin. I think if next time, so overall, not bad. I will probably wear both of these again, obviously, but I wanted to, I don't really think there's a major difference though, honestly, like I feel like they're both very like, 
actually this, I think, I think the Wet n Wild is dry. It doesn't really feel like tacky or anything. I've heard that a lot of people say that it's kind of tacky. And the Rimmel feels a little bit more tacky, I feel like. But it doesn't feel like dry. It looks really dry and like cakey maybe. I don't know. I'm not really sure. But I like the praline though. And I'm glad that I finally bought this wet and wild because I've watched so many videos on this foundation. Like so many people have done videos on this foundation and I like I like that the spatula isn't super big or like like the Rimmel spatula isn't is is wider and thinner. This one is like smaller and stuff. I kind of like that. Like I said, I like that I pick a good color for my skin tone, which is nice. Um, and I don't really care that it's photo focus. I really don't care about that. Like I could care less. But I like the packaging. I like that it's small and it's cute and it's glass and it's cruelty free. I also don't care about cruelty free. Like I know a lot of people care about cruelty free on YouTube and in general. I'm not that person. I don't care about. Cruelty so if you are looking for a channel that is going to tell you what's cruelty free or not i mean i'll tell you but like i'm not that person that picks a product because it's cruelty free i just pick whatever is cheap and will be good for me overall but yeah i don't really know if i would say that this is not good for dry skin i've heard a lot of people say that it's not good for dry skin I mean, I definitely don't think that they're very, I definitely wouldn't say that these are dewy by any means, either of them. Which I'm kind of still on the hunt for a, like, a nice dewy foundation that's not super expensive, so let me know, let me know when, I mean, not when, but if you guys know of a foundation that's for, good for dry skin, that makes, like, dry skin look dewy, because I like that dewy look. But... Yeah, I'm really, I was really, really happy with the sponge. It felt really nice and it blended really well overall. I'm definitely happy about the sponge. I'm happy about the foundations. I just don't really know which one I like more. I feel like I might like the Wet n Wild more maybe. Not because of, but to be honest, they both look very similar on my face. Like they both look like dry and cakey, but I guess. I feel like the wet and wild might look a little bit less cakey and dry on my skin, but I'm just glad I finally bought this because I've been obsessed with these, with this, with this foundation and buying it and stuff. Like literally, I've been obsessed with it. So I'm glad I finally bought one, so I can move on, basically. So that's my first impression. I can't really tell a huge difference between these two foundations, but as far as I can tell, I might like the wet, the wet and wild more. But to be honest, I think they're basically very comparable, which is which is why I wanted to try them out. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little this little mini makeup haul slash first impressions of these two foundations. I've been wanting to, like I said, I've been wanting to buy this one for a while, so I'm happy I finally did it. Um, hope you guys like this Sarah's Corner esque thing that I'm doing. I'm gonna try to hand this sign up at some point, but. So I hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you in my next video. Bye!